how our bodies show up, in the health of our bodies or the lack thereof. Yesterday I talked to a guy on the phone. Uh, he, uh, he sent me a letter. He says his name is Tim. He's 48 years old. He's six foot, 308 pounds. And then he goes on to say he has metabolic syndrome. He has high blood pressure. He has high cholesterol. He has type 2 diabetes. Not that he has these processes going on, but he's identified with these various symptoms. He says he's currently uh, using uh, uh, various uh, anti-diabetic drugs. Met, uh, metformin is one. He's taking beta blocker drugs. These are drugs that slow down the heart, poison the heart, really. He's on diuretics. He's on other uh, ACE inhibitor drugs for his blood pressure, something called lisinopril. He's on a statin drug. And he wants to know how he can be helped. So I talked to the guy yesterday, and it turns out he owns grocery stores and ice cream stores and candy stores, and he loves ice cream and he loves pizza. Can't stop eating the pizza. And I, I didn't know what to tell the guy. You know, you can take your arginine, but if you're six foot, 300 pounds, and you're addicted to pizza and ice cream, and you're on anti-diabetic drugs and beta blocker drugs and diuretic drugs, there's only so much we can do. Because ultimately, we have control over how our bodies show up. Is this bad news? No. I think it's great news. Because it means we can do it all ourselves. You guys, no matter what your health crisis is, you can reverse it. You can turn it around. I don't want to say cure, because I don't like to think of people as being sick. I like to think of us as being starving. We're missing what we need, whether what we need is oxygen, whether what we need is nutrients, or whether what we need is detoxification. This is such good news. If you have a degenerative disease, if you have cancer, if you're dealing with autoimmune problems, if you're just simply dealing with skin problems or accelerated aging, it is in your purview, it is in your control to begin this reversal process. And you don't need me, you don't need doctors, you don't need drugs, you don't need surgeries. All right, 855-660-4261 is our number. We do have a couple lines open for you. Bill in California, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hey, Ben. I'm working with a uh, 30-year-old male who was just diagnosed with hepatitis C. Okay. And the doctors are suggesting a 90-dose um, series of medicines that cost a $1,000 a <laughs> dose. Go figure, right? Yeah, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> right. What is it, um, interferon? What are they going to give him? Uh, I didn't hear that part. All right. So $1,000 a dose. Well, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm not surprised. Look, hepatitis C is a liver issue, right? Hep, whenever you hear hep, that's the liver. Hep, uh, H-E-P is the prefix for the liver. Uh, itis is, uh, means a, a, some kind of inflammatory issue. And uh, hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver. It's an infection. It's caused supposedly by the hepatitis C virus. Now, when I hear hepatitis... I think of liver toxicity. The liver does all kinds of detoxification work. The liver is a major digestive organ. The liver is performing hundreds of different chemical reactions at all times. It's super duper hard working given our toxic lifestyle, given our lousy, the lousy way we eat, given digestive problems. It makes sense that a lot of people would have, uh, would be having liver problems. Hepatitis C, uh, you know, they call it a viral issue. Uh, but it is uh, it's supposedly spread from uh, intravenous drug use or, or transfusions or various blood-to-blood -blood kinds of things. A lot of people around the world, by the way, who have hepatitis C, millions, hundreds of millions of people have hepatitis C. Uh, but you know what? It can progress into all kinds of liver problems, uh, cirrhosis, even liver cancer. So here's the deal. If you have hepatitis C, I personally, if it was me, I would be going the detoxification and cleanliness and nutrition route first and foremost as long as the patient is asymptomatic now do you, do you know this person because oftentimes yeah. it is asymptom okay asymptomatic yeah. no symptoms no. Okay. yeah typically that's no symptoms right no okay so if it was me I would be doing I would be going the nutritional and detoxification route so the liver is a digestive organ uh, as with all as with all health issues the first thing you want to focus on is foods and food intolerances, food allergies, problems with the digestive system. Now, chances are this is a person who's going to know that they have some kind of digestive health issues, but even if they don't, that doesn't mean they don't have it. As we've said so many times, if you don't have a digestive issue or you don't think you have a digestive issue, that doesn't mean you really don't have one. You've got to pay close, close attention because our brain has a way of turning down the, turning down the volume on, on things that happen over and over and over again, and we just don't know. So focus first and foremost on digestive health and digestive wellness. I know of no degenerative health issue that does not have a digestive component somewhere along the line and typically at the root or at the core of whatever the degenerative disease or, or health issue is. 
quiz. So first, digestive health issues. Eliminate problem foods. You may want to consider fasting. And you'll know you're getting better when your digestive system starts to improve. If you fast, digestive systems will obviously improve. If you even go calorie restriction, typically digestive symptoms will improve. And, of course, if you eliminate problem foods, digestive symptomology should improve. The second major strategy for working with the digestive system after you've eliminated problem foods, notice problems, notice the digestive issues, and then link them up to foods and then eliminate those foods. The second thing you want to do is make sure you're using fermented foods and a good probiotic supplement. You can, you can get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. That's the best probiotic supplement that I know of. It's got digestive enzymes in with it. Take three in the morning, three at night. You don't want to skimp on your probiotic supplement, by the way. They tend to be next to proteins. Uh, probiotic supplements tend to be expensive, the most expensive of supplements, because they're live. They're living. Most supplements, amino acids and vitamins and minerals and such, they're not living. They're not alive. But bacteria, obviously, are alive. So your probiotic supplements tend to be the most expensive. Along with protein, they tend to be the most expensive of all the supplements. It doesn't matter. They're worth it, especially if you're dealing with hepatitis C, which, even though it's asymptomatic, can lead to liver scarring or cirrhosis or even cancer, as I say. So uh, get it on a really good probiotic supplement like the Biolumin Nightly Essence. You may want to consider fermented foods. You can purchase fermented foods now from the Beyond Organic line through Longevity. You can get the um, Suarevi or the Amasai or the probiotic rich cheese. How cool is it now that we carry, Longevity carries probiotic? packed cheese. It tastes great, too. I haven't gotten, my, I haven't gotten mine yet, but uh, hopefully I'll have it today or tomorrow. I'll let you know about that. So uh, use the Bio, Beyond Organic products and the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Uh, eating fermented foods is also a great strategy. You know, you can make your own fermented foods. You can make your own fermented veggies. You can make your own sauerkraut, your own fermented beets, your own fermented pickles, or fermented cucumbers. Real easy to do. That's another good, uh, good health strategy for dealing with liver issues and dealing with digestive issues. Hang tight. I've got a couple more things I want to say uh, when we come back from our break. So don't go away, Bill. And then we'll take, uh, if you're on hold, hang tight, too. We'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Ted Anderson telling you about Jordan Rubin's Beyond Organic Green-Fed Raw Cheddar Artesian Cheese featuring whole milk created through ancient dairy breeding, unpasteurized, untreated whole milk on the same farm the cows graze, containing natural sources of omega-3s, CLA protein, calcium, probiotics, and enzymes. I have never tasted cheese this good, and you need to try it. Contact your Longevity distributor or call 877-878-4203 or go to GCNteam.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we just- decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. 
to get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com. Click the blue microphone in the top right corner and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. Americans have always been ready to defend, to serve, and to honor those who defended and are defending all of us. So this month, the Freeze-Dry Guy honors and serves Americans with our meat, rice, and potato sale. Our unit includes four number 10 cans of quality Mountain House cooked diced beef, ground beef, diced chicken, white rice, and two cans of FDG dehydrated diced potatoes. 158 servings per case unit. And during the Freeze-Dry Guy's meat, rice, and potato sale, get one case for only one seven. Two cases for only $3.55, or get three cases for only $5.15, and all come with lots of valuable freebies. For details, click freezedryguy.com and hurry. Sale ends today. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. That's 866-404-FOOD. Plus, free shipping to the lower 48 states from the Freeze Dry Guy. The finest freeze-dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long-term storage. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are GCN. All right, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Got a couple lines open for you. 855-660-4261. We're talking to... Bill in California, uh, Bill, hepatitis C, think digestion, think probiotics, think fermented foods. You can make your own fermented foods by chopping up vegetables, adding a little bacterial starter, keeping your food in a, your fermented foods or fermented veggies in a dark place. You could do it with beets. You could do it with cucumbers. You could do it with peppers. You could do it with all kinds of vegetables. You could use kefir also and, and a miso soup and tempeh. Think fermented foods. Also for the, um, for the liver, digestive enzymes can be helpful and also apple cider vinegar. You may want to try pancreatin, in addition, you know, which is a type of digestive enzyme, in addition to the ultimate enzymes from longevity. I like the Z-Radical for all digestive health issues also. And then uh, a couple other uh, miscellaneous kinds of things for the digestive system that might also be helpful for the liver include the amino acid glutamine. Glutamine is uh, uh, actually a fuel for the cells that line the digestive tract, so you can energize digestive cells with glutamine. It can also be important for uh, for liver health. And then a couple of herbs. I, I'm not a big believer in herbs, but there's a couple that may have some liver benefits. Uh, I'm not a big believer in using herbal medicine, I should say, because it's, uh, it seems like that's still medicinal and not nutritional. But in any case, Jerusalem artichoke has been shown to be effective for liver health issues. And, of course, milk thistle is the go-to herb, herbal remedy for dealing with all uh, all liver issues. And then last but not least, think vitamin C when you think the liver. There's a very important relationship between vitamin C intake and liver health. And uh, just a couple of miscellaneous things, essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs, and also vitamin E might be helpful for the liver too. So those are all great strategies for you uh, for dealing with hepatitis C. Uh, and I certainly would be using those nutritional ideas and dietary strategies before I went to a $1,000 a dose medication that some doctor gave me. Does that help, Bill? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Uh, good deal, Bill. Hope that works out for you. Thanks for your call. Okay, let's go to uh, Florida and welcome Stan to the bright side. What's up, Stan? How you doing? How's it going, Ben? Can you hear me? Stan? Yes, sir. Am What's I... going on, my friend? Uh, my question is in regards to my sister. We believe she has eczema, and I've listened okay. to you before mentioning that that usually starts in the digestive area in the gut. Yep. Almost and, always. Uh, there is something called... Go ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say there is something called con. There is something called contact dermatitis or contact eczema, and that's a, a rarer form of eczema that occurs in uh, in uh, in response to some kind of allergen that you touch or that you get on your hands or on your body on your skin somehow. Uh, a construction workers sometimes will get contact dermatitis or concrete dermatitis. Bakers will sometimes get it from components that are in flour. But for the most part, eczema is an internal issue. It involves how cells are growing and how cells are dividing. You know, when we look 
at our skin, it's hard for us to understand this. And just from a visual glance at the skin, just from looking at it, it doesn't look like there's stuff happening. But there are constantly cells growing from the bottom of the skin to the top of the skin. And this growth process is extremely complex. It's extremely complicated. There's many, 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 many steps. And many, many, many things have to go, have to occur correctly. Many nutrients have to be present. Just the right amount of nutrients have to be present. Just the right balance of fat have to be present. The, skin, the way skin cells grow and divide is really